All right, now let's go see if we can get some toiletries. I'm not exactly sure what to say or what to ask. I think it's just pretty simple. Today is so packed. But first, I need to find a pool. Vending and ice. Pool. Where's the map? That's an evacuation map. <laughs> no, 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 no. Two. The pool. That's not it. While I search for the pool, here we go. The morning, we have to go to watch the training. Then we get some media availability with the players. And then we go to the skills gauntlet. So the challenge is, I have to film stuff up to 4.45. So between 4 and 4.45 and have something ready to post by seven. That is a crazy quick turnover for my videos. I'm not sure, I haven't, like at this point, I don't really know what the story is, but we're just gonna have to figure it out as we go along, see what happens. Where is this bloody pool? Oh cool, the pool is straight back where I've come from. <laughs> Actually, I think that's my room up here. Ah uh, yeah, the, the sign for pool and whirlpool as I come out the elevator. Here's the pool. Underwater, the whole way. Now it. I've forgotten how bloody hard work it was to swim. All right, now let's go see if we can get some toiletries. I'm not exactly sure what to say or what to ask. I think it's just pretty simple. Let's see what they can offer. I had, I'd, I'd forgotten how tiring swimming, swimming was. I haven't done laps in probably at least five years, at least. Probably going on a decade. Hi, Hi. good morning. How are you guys? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you very much. I forgot all my toiletries. Yep. Yeah, just I'll, a few things. I'll grab some for you. Oh, thank you so very much. This is quite an interesting display. Yes, they're all together. But I like the style of it. So obviously all like fake books in the movie names. Yeah, Sundance Kid, Perfectionist. They look kind of cool though. Lovely. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, have a good day. Thanks, you too. We didn't get a great deal. We got three little toothpastes, some lotion, and the longest toothbrush I have ever seen. All right, let's look at this toothbrush. This is, if I hold it against my hand, what is going on with that? I did actually bring my toothbrush and toothpaste, so I'm not completely useless. You gotta protect the cavities. Okay, that clearly wasn't two minutes of brushing, but it's gonna do for now. We are going to get some juice. Oh, oh, fake. This way. I'm not really sure if that's the right floor. I don't know which floor I'm going to. I might have uh, fudged up a little. I got stuck chatting to one of the guys. Arena Nutrition. Oh, it's... Inside? Inside. Okay, how do I get to it? I don't know. <laughs> I think I have to go back inside. It's in the building I was just in. Oh, look. So there's that from the pool earlier, which means I was up in here. I had to ask the uh, concierge for help finding it, but it looks like it's round here on the corner. If I'd have just kept walking, I probably would have found it. I saw that place online. It didn't look like the nicest spot. I want to go tour the city a bit, so we'll take a scooter out tomorrow and go have a look around. I think this is it down here. Why is this place so well hidden? I've got five, 10 minutes to get this 
before I have to meet up with the guys and we're gonna then head out to the stadium for the training event. Not sure what to expect there, we'll see. Okay. Need a key card. Okay, I think I might have to give up. I can't find this place at all. Does it even, it, it's in there. All right, so looking at this picture, it says it's here, but I guess it no longer exists. Never mind, I am guess I'm just gonna go hungry until, until a bit later. <laughs> the training session's only an hour and a half, two hours, but I will get myself a smoothie later. I just, just don't know from where. All right, so this is the old Columbus Crew Stadium, the first purpose-built stadium like 25 years ago. We've got a few of our creators here. We've got Mo bringing his sniper's case, and then I guess we're just gonna head in through this way. Okay, uh, I think this is gonna be a little di difficult. Everyone's so bloody far away. Uh, but thankfully, we brought this little number for the zoom. So I think the struggle I'm having is finding the right spot to get in, to get decent shots without bringing the massive bulky zoom lens. So looks like we've got MLS keepers here. Is it MLS keepers? And then I guess we've got the MLS players here. So who can we spot on the MLS side? All right, couple of challenges. One, it's pretty difficult to see what's going on over here. And it's very congested with all the other people trying to film up along the edge over here. And I'm trying to think about the angle for the story. I did, br I'm not sure how the angle fits in for this video, but I should have just shown you the ones in the briefcase. Briefcase, my suitcase. I, can you, I don't know if you can even see it. I bought these, one because they were a childhood pair of boots, but I thought they'd be amazing for this. And I'm gonna bring them out later this afternoon for the other video we're making. But I'm trying to think about how it plays into this part. I think there's a part of me, is this wet on my ass? How can I bring my shoes into the fold here so that when my other boots come into it, it's not just like a, a weird out of left field type thing. I'm also not sure if this is the MLS or the Liga MX team training. It is the MLS? Okay, cool, thank you. I need to do some more thinking. I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get B-roll shots. Being able to voice over it gives me a lot of flexibility. I think you know you've played different stand-ins in your life when you see a goal move on wheels that easily versus having to pick it up and move it, having unlocked the chains. <laughs> I'm thinking about, this should really be my experience of watching them train for a game as potentially big as this versus anything too crazy or special. Why is this? interesting to me. I think one of the crazy parts is how many people are in here on the media side of things shooting content of some sort. I think that just goes to show how powerful content is in the direction of where things are going these days. There's so many people. It goes all down here as well. A while back I made a chat GPT prompt that would take my storytelling formula and if I gave it the general idea of what was happening in this video it could create like the, the things that go wrong, the crisis for the video, a different level of choices to take it a different direction. And I might have to revert back to that because I'm struggling to see, maybe, I, I know how to make the video for me in terms of, here's the initial part of the video. Yes, you have the, the point of no return, which is getting to here. And then what's the catch of being here? The catch is that I'm one of many people shooting here. All the catch could be that it's really hot. I think the heat is a better one. It, I have to find a way to make that heat part of it interesting. So it needs to be dramatic enough at the beginning to be a, like somewhat of a setback to the video. And then it needs to come in later in the video. But I'm not quite sure how yet. Maybe uh, what I look like and feel like having been here for the hour or so. So right now I'm just kind of like jotting things down to try and make sure I get certain shots to fit this. I'm gonna go to grab one of these. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on over here. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. I'm not important enough for that. Dude, I'm sweating like a pig. It's only 77. What the hell's going on? 
So it looks like this area is for the important people to start interviewing and talking to the important people. So I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I could be here, I'm allowed to be here, but... I, I don't even like goldfish, I prefer one of these. But I think this plays into it really nicely. Like you've got athletes in pro shape, and I'm over here eating goldfish while watching. Let's do that. What's up, dude? I have my complaints about things like this because they all just headed in. Practice was done. And look how far away we are. Like they were doing shooting drills down in that goal. They could have done in that goal with everyone standing right here. Like this is the paddock area where we can be. And they do it on the opposite side. It doesn't really make any sense to me. It's like you bring media people in because you know you should have media people there but you're missing the complete goal of having the media, pe media people there. And now you have the players coming in for their interviews or whatever, so you've got one there, another one Shah, and I guess, yeah, you see a few of the others. They're probably gonna go down through into there. But I was just speaking with Mo Ali, so he does like trick shots and stuff. Trick shots, more like skill-based challenges with pro athletes, pro soccer players. And I was talking to his manager and saying, an event like this is actually pretty difficult for them to arrange because like you don't have the media access that you could and should have to get the content that you need and as the creator you know what performs well not just with your audience but across social media and this just doesn't facilitate that i was asking him if he pushes back if he like fights to get the shots that he needs to and he said sometimes yeah we push back other times we just have to walk away because it just doesn't work but that is what's I'm thankful with, with my content is that as long as I get shots and have some idea of telling the story, like I, I've told, <laughs> I've spent enough time learning how to tell a story now that I can make a story out of this. And I guess the crisis is that all the pairs just suddenly left training and then the climactic choices, they all come out for interviews. Got it. So I'm heading down to Mo now. His manager, Yuri, is behind me. And then this is Mo down here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be subtle in this. So I'll stay away from what you're doing, but it'll be cool to see it. Dude, what's going on? Nice little setup. So right here is the behind the scenes that I don't think you really think of as a viewer. So while like the rest of us have been shooting and seeing what's going on, Mo has been down here setting up each of his sections. So he's got different skill-based things to do. And he's going to try and get Hugo Loris to come down and do them with him. See how it goes. And then it'd be cool for me to get some shots as well. I'm going to talk quietly in this bit. This is really interesting. So, speaking to Mo and his manager Yuri yesterday, they only get about 10 minutes. Anything more than 10 minutes with a player is too much time. And so he's been able to shoot everything he needs to within seven to eight minutes. I'm talking like six to nine videos in that short amount of time, which is a crazy efficient way to shoot content. It's not the way I want to shoot content. I prefer to enjoy the whole process of it. But when you're working, you know, with, I guess, a, someone else who's not part of your content, you have to adapt and make that happen. So it's quite interesting to see this. That's mine to kick around. That's mine. A little bit flat, but it'll do. Time to show why I'm here. All right, this ball's flat. Don't judge me too much. That's enough for me, I don't, I don't fancy trying anything too daring out here. See now this, my time to shine, you ready? Is my mic still on? Yes. Oh. Okay, that's uh, zero for two, but honestly, that might be two of my best hits in a long time. Oh my gosh, we'll pretend that one never happened. I am going for the corners, by the way. Oh gosh. I guess that's the end of that. I've kicked the ball over. I've got to go and get it. There it is. I'm hopeful no one's going to scream at me. What happens, happens. I got to get and get that ball. For sure, yeah, and I'll come straight back. Yep, I'm running. I'm running. Look at that. I was very considerate and I hit it down the middle. Let's go back. All right, it's cooled down a bit now. We're heading out. There's an MLS next 
Pro, MLS Pro Next game going on, which is like the younger generation. I'm gonna head back to the hotel, get a little bit of a break in and try and edit one of these videos. But I also wanna try and think about what's gonna happen for the video tonight. We're gonna go to this skills training, which I think beforehand we get to have a go at, but we're also on the field filming the pros do their thing. So we'll see what happens. I need to plan out a bit more and the boots that I have for tonight that I'm gonna try and wear. This part. Oh my God, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, what are we doing? What am I liking? We'll go with, do I tap it or do I just tell you? Yeah, you can just tell Okay, yeah, top one piece, thanks. Sure. And then just go straight for the bell. The ding, ding. Oh, look at this. Thank you very much, I'll take the hand. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lovely, thank you very You're much. Welcome, yeah. Appreciate it. And bring them straight to you. Yeah. Thank you. Is it cool if I come round? Yeah. Annoyingly. Thank you. And then stick my eyes underneath. Perfect. Beautiful. Look at that. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Uh, I would, yes, please. Yeah, no thank worries. you. Yeah. What are your initials? Uh, can we go with OW, please? Oh. Okay, so now we've turned up to the, the new stadium, I guess which actually looks pretty sweet from the outside. But I think we're having a slight run through on the skills challenge, seeing what it's all about. But the pressure's on. We need to get a video from this to be posted before 7 p.m. So we've got about two hours. Is so it gonna happen? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, this is Addy, by the way. Addy, what do you make? I make uh, comedy soccer content and uh, I make cookies on cookies? Saturday night. Oh, no. but, uh, that's an invite. I'll be over there for cookies <laughs> on Saturday night. And we're in. Quick little look over the stadium. Oh, what am I doing here? All right, so we got Mo versus Noah Beck doing some chipping challenges. Somewhat hopeful I don't have to do this. And we got Old Spice off as well. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> Just stay, yeah, stay on me. So I'm gonna maybe go back a little bit more. So I'm gonna ship this one, stay on me, and then next one I'll slip. Okay, sorry, can I have one more, thanks. After this one, you won't want me. Ready? Whoa! That, that, that was all planned, thanks. Mo, Brittany, you wanna go? Nice. Are you guys? Are you guys going? No, some man. No, nice to meet you, dude. How's it going? All right. No, no rush. I'm just wondering. Are you starting us off? Yeah. Oh! Whoa! What's your vocabulary, Portugal? That'll do, Golden. Thank you. I'm not going to say the cleats helped me, but I got the shots I needed. It's going to be a short video, probably my shortest ever video but it's interesting to be able to tell the story in that short amount of time and to get off this field. I'm sweating like a pig again. All right, so the skills test, we've got shooting over here. That was part of an earlier challenge because then you've got the shooting challenge here. Jog over, passing challenge, I imagine. Musical chairs, I'm not sure. Oh, the ball has to be kicked in and then from here it gets volleyed into here. I think I saw that last year. Vámonos, su puta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two. Oh, skills training. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. He's dodgy. What are you doing? Yuri's up there doing donuts. I do a fancy bit of footage coming into the room, but I don't have time. I've got less than an hour to finish one video, edit the next video, which will, like I said, will be my shortest ever video, and shower before we head back for the skills challenge. So, be right back. All right, did I get both videos done? No, but I got one of them done, and that's gonna have to do for the moment. The goal is to get at least one up before the skills challenge tonight, and then I can edit. I film more tonight to make another one, and then I'll film or edit the rest of the video to go out tomorrow. Honestly, I just, I don't have enough time to make it the way I want to make it. And there's no point posting something that's gonna be crap just for the sake of it being a post. So we're not doing that. It's annoying, the, some of the other creators here have 
uh, much easier to produce content that doesn't require a storyline and it, it requires a bit of planning up front, obviously, but it doesn't require the editing, the voiceover sound. What am I doing with these? That mine did. But I have the story, I just need time to do it. So we're gonna hop on some more spin scooters and head to the game. I'm not, I don't think the audio is gonna be good at all because this mic picks up so much and we're gonna be in a stadium. So I'm not sure how much of this, I'll show you the cool things and like inside the hospitality suite that we have and maybe just some clips without me talking just to show you what things look like because I would like to see what things look like. Okay, cool, um, scooter ride. You know, I'll make this shot a little bit more interesting. Let's go boy. This is what it's all about. Look at this, and we're down. S street view. What is going on down here? All right, so I think we're normally sat, I think we're meant to be sat around here, but we're meant to also go in here. So this is a downstairs suite we're going into. All right, there was tons of food in here earlier. Obviously that's all gone. What else have we got? I don't know, just some like, Decent seating, like nightclub vibes in here as well. Uh, yeah, it should be recording. Oh yeah, you can. Do you want a prop? Thanks. I do, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at this. Can I double up? Double up. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, look at this. I look good. And then you can email you. or text it. Perfect, I will do that, thank you very much. The idea of doing that in public is hideous to me, but it's like doing it for work. I'm okay with it. I'm trying to get out. I don't know how I'm gonna carry everything upstairs. I should have thought that through. Dude, my like one of my soccer dreams is to have a bag of like pro balls. Yeah. I would fucking love that. Yeah. Turn up at the local grass field. Oh, sorry. That was your time. You go shine. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Same. All right. So, uh, League MX won the whole thing. I don't. I think it was a crossbar challenge at the end. I uh, we got stuck talking. But I think now we're gonna play some 2v2 with the prospect of playing 7v7 tomorrow in the old Columbus Crew Stadium, which is just down the road, which we were at this morning for the training. Ooh, what an opportunity, how cool is that? This whole thing, madness. I have always wondered about these things up close. So to give you an idea, the E, uh, focus okay so this is like a gimbal down here to allow the camera to be stabilized on three different axes this is a trash bag um i think that's aftermarket and then you have the pulley systems i imagine that's the i don't know you've got these wires going all the way up here i just i just love the shots it gets chandler i appreciate you inviting me as waterboy it's been very kind of you thank you Potentially my last time ever in Columbus and probably in the stadium. I so feel that. Say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I was feeling that when I was in the field. I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be back. Ever. We are ready. For, yep. This. This is what it's all about. It was so fun driving up here earlier, scooting up here earlier. We're all going to do it back to the hotel. Should do a nice little transition. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Do you need a cup holder too? Yeah. Have a drink. <laughs> no, I swear to God. So That's you driving <laughs> sober. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you might need a new manager soon because I don't know how long this one's going to make it. 